Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Sheree Yvette here. I am actually going to take you with me as I show you what to do with the things around your house that you no longer have a use for. If you're new here, welcome. Go ahead and click subscribe. I post videos, try to, every Friday on everything from motherhood rooted in faith and not perfection, my love for writing, homeschooling, and education, and of course, everything else in between. So I've got my two bags here, ready to go to the first location. And that there is for another pack I'll tell you about. So let's go ahead and get started. But real quick, I wanted to tell you, if you don't wanna leave your house to get rid of your clutter that still has some life in it, there's a couple of organizations that will send a donation truck right to your door for free, and they actually leave a tax deductible receipt. But I also use an app called OfferUp. So that little shampooer that you saw me point to a minute ago, I posted it on OfferUp for a price that I thought it was worth. And then it sold immediately and somebody was able to pick it up directly from me and was able to continue to use the item that I no longer had a use for. Quick tip, as you begin to bring new things into your home, honestly, you need to get the old things that you no longer have a use for out. Two bags of stuff ready to go now this next place i don't particularly use it to get rid of my clutter or things i don't have a use for but it's called the next door app and you can do so many different things on next door but they also have an area where you can sell or give away things to people who are local to your area something else i think is good is on your instagram story since it tends to be sometimes people you know who may be local to you just snap a picture of what's in your declutter box and see if anyone actually needs the item that you really don't have a use for especially if it's not something that's raggedy and tore up from the floor up but you think that somebody actually might like to use maybe for their child or in their house um, I don't think there's anything wrong with giving away things to people in your neighborhood or people who you know who may have a use for it because listen everybody could use to save a little coin or maybe spend their money in a different way that may be valuable than spending it on items that they could easily get from you because you're done using them i just got back from once upon a child i dropped off my stuff and told them to text me when it was ready and i got back from doing everything that i had to do as a mom just picked up everything and i got 44 dollars back minus a couple of dollars for a swimming trunks and a swim shirt for my son for our trip and i got a little bit of money back for the clutter in my house for things that i no longer need and someone will get it at a better price there are there's like so much waste when it comes to children's things that we can do better by recycling those things giving them away donating them selling them back at places like this instead of just putting them in the trash. Almost everyone is familiar with Facebook Marketplace. If you click on that logo on Facebook, that will help you enter into the marketplace where you can either sell things if you wanna get a profit from items that you're decluttering out, or you can even give things away for free. Now, if you go on Facebook Marketplace and you enter in your area, and then you type in the word free, you'll see a boatload of people in your area or maybe a few miles away. You can change the radius for how far out you'd like to look for free items and you can find things. Now, I will say beware. You don't wanna be bringing cut free clutter back into your home when your intent was to be decluttering to get things out of your home. So if you're looking for something that you don't wanna pay full price on, be intentional about the things that you're bringing back into your home. The Buy Nothing Project is an awesome idea. If you search Buy Nothing groups in your area, you can actually find a group in your area that will allow you to post a picture of an item that you're decluttering and ask anyone if they need it. And then if you in turn are looking for something specific, you can do an in search of or let someone know that you're interested in something that they actually might have posted. A quick, easy way to get rid of your clutter and to receive something that you might need for your family. Again, don't bring in new free stuff that you have no intention of using if your goal is to begin to declutter things out because people are very generous. They're giving away good things that just they simply don't need to have a use for anymore. 
Next, I wanted to remind you that when you're making these types of posts, whether it be on Facebook Marketplace or apps like the Nextdoor app or Let Go or Offer Up, that you're using safety first. Obviously, when I was a single mom, I would never give out my address and you want to be making sure that you're using safety first actually in some communities they have designated parking spots at the police and fire stations for you to pull up and to make these kind of transfers for items so make sure you're using safety first i also wanted to tell you if you're ever looking to receive things on from apps even Facebook Marketplace, that there are scammers out there. The scammers are there. So if you're receiving things, make sure you vet the source, that you go ahead and you look at their ratings because people can give you a rating when they interact with you on these types of posts. And you can also go and see other ratings that people have given these individuals that you're seeking to trade items for. If you've been on my channel for any amount of time, you know I love a good hand-me-down. And my sisters love to shop. I'm the oldest of five children from my mom, four girls and a boy. And my sister just texts me and my other sister like, hey, do y'all want to go through these clothes? And me, my sister, and my aunt went through those clothes and we got new workout gear, the cute tops for summer. So hey, that is another way to get rid of some of your items. Go ahead and bless one of your family members with something a little bit new in their wardrobe, okay? Now, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found something that was helpful to you. If you did, go ahead and click like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.